So we have a pretty cool and unique bike in the shop today. This is one of my buddies that he's wanting me to uh, get going for him again. There's two exhausts on this side and two exhausts on this side. But then you look here and it's got a V-bank motor. So it's like, what? So yeah, we got a V4, it's a Honda Magna 750. I believe it's a VF750 is what they call them. But yeah, so pretty unique having a V4 engine. V4 engines aren't really super common. So I'm pretty excited to see how this thing sounds and runs and everything. Cause yeah, uh, let's quit yapping, get to work on this thing. We're gonna get the seat off, get the tank off, like I said, the air box, and then get to the carburetors because this thing just will not fire. It actually fired up yesterday whenever I went to pick it up, but now it doesn't want to fire up again. So we're just going to go ahead and go through all the carbs, clean them out. Uh, we'll also be getting some new spark plugs for it, maybe doing oil change and stuff like that. But yeah, just going to kind of go over everything, look everything over and get a good baseline where everything's at for them to be able to ride this for the rest of the season and then hopefully next season as well. But anyway, yeah, let's get to work. Okay, so we're just gonna verify real quick that it does have spark. Oh, well I got that unplugged. <laughs> Plug that bolt generator back in real quick. So we do have nice blue spark there. However, pulse generator is out of specs, so I'll probably recommend that he gets that. Um, the fuel in it, whenever I'd taken the tank off the little bit that spilled out, it was freaking disgusting smelling. And it was nice and yellow, so fuel is definitely bad in it. I'd say that's probably the main contributor because obviously it does have enough resistance where it still has good spark, but yeah, I'm gonna recommend that he still gets a pulse generator for it. Uh, we'll get some good fuel in there and see if we can get it to start. If not, then we'll Continue on turning it down, go from there. So we're gonna start cleaning this thing up. It's pretty dirty and grimy here. Uh, I wanna clean all this up since I'm gonna be working in this area, more than likely anyway, cleaning the carbs and stuff. Uh, the parts did come in for this thing, the pulse generator assembly. So it's one of the reasons why I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning stuff up because I'm gonna be working on it anyway, but we'll get that swapped out looks like they use rtb for this case cover here so i've got some good honda bond over there to reseal that and yeah i'm gonna have to take this peg off here so that i can get to a bolt that's hiding behind it right back there well she is cleaning up pretty nicely here haven't even got into the actual polishing the chrome or anything yet i've just kind of been wiping everything down like I said, I will be taking that air box out so I can fully clean that as well anyway. Uh, I got new spark plugs in there now. Uh, the oil has been changed. That pulse generator has been swapped out. I've detailed it just a tiny bit. And the battery should be charged. I've got good fuel on there now. I've verified the vacuum pump is functioning properly. So, yeah, I believe very good for a little test fire here I'll throw that bad boy on I don't have you guys on the tripod so there's three there for now and I need some keys that would probably help I did just spill a little bit of fuel so if I catch on fire I'll see you in the next life Uh, yeah, every one of the 
cylinders is firing. Sweet. So I guess I'll continue putting it back together, get the seat on there, the side covers and stuff. And I'll probably throw a little bit more fuel on it or in it and then take it on a little test ride. Since I had this off of here, I'm gonna probably have to adjust the brake a little bit because it was in a little bit of a different spot than whenever I took it off. But yeah, that's cool. Funky sounded bike. I thought it would sound a lot different, but anyway, uh, yeah, let's get this thing put back together and take it on a little test ride. All right, we got it running now. good now so I'm gonna get my helmet and my boots on and we'll go for a little ride take this thing on a little test ride get the camera set up all on the riding position
Yeah, so uh, the forks seem like they're really twitchy on these back roads. Well, this is a really cool bike. I just got done from taking it on another test ride, rode it about 20 miles. We have no leaks from the side cover that I put a new gasket on after replacing the pulse generator, so that's really good. And it's running really good as well. There was a couple, I think it once or maybe twice, I think it was twice, it had a little bitty backfire under D cell, which is not really an uncommon thing. But anyway, Man, this thing is, it's like a street bike engine on a cruiser. It's, this, I don't know, it's crazy. It's so, it, I like it. <laughs> it's hard for me to put into words, to be honest. But yeah, V4 VF750 Honda Magna. Maybe a purchase in the future at some point in time. Would be cool anyway to own one of these and do like a two-in-one pipe and all kinds of stuff, which this actually does have. Kind of like an H pipe, they do combine there. So, yeah, I just like it. I mean, it's quiet. It doesn't vibrate a lot since it's a four-cylinder V bank uh, with the smaller displacement pistons. You're not going to have as much vibrations as you would with like a Harley of the same size uh, in a V setup. But yeah, that's one of the things I really like about it. Hardly any vibrations. It's quiet, so you can rip on it, have fun on it, and you're not going to piss your neighbors off or anything at least you're less likely to with it being not super loud and stuff like that but yeah cool bike i like it anyway that's pretty much gonna do it for me on this honda v4 and if you like the video go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me please it helps out a lot uh do you think i've earned your subscription if you think i've earned your subscription today go ahead and tap on that sub button down below and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.